So today I'm going to talk about the positives and negatives of living in a city compared to a town and living in a town compared to a city. Show you what it do. Oh yeah, loco, escúchame bien. Si puedo lograr todo, pues tú puedes también. Ahora tengo carros, ahora tengo casas, ahora todo está fluido como sangre de la raza. Let me introduce you to the reason. What's up fam? How you guys doing? Yes, you. How are you? Comment down below so I can know how you're doing. And welcome back to another video. For those of you who don't know me, I go by Sandy Kating and I do travel and history videos. So, so check out the playlist of all the videos that I did in the town so, so you can learn a bit of history. And check out the vlogs because it is Vlogmas. So I'm bringing you a video Monday through Friday except Saturday and Sundays. So the topic of today, let's go. So the first thing about living in a town is that it's more tranquil than a, a city. So the city has more traffic, more noise, more things going on, and the people are always in a rush a majority of the time. Whereas in a town, it's less people, so because of that, it's less traffic. Also, there's less pollution compared to the city where there's a bit more pollution than the towns. Now, it depends on the size of town that you live in and it depends on the size of the city that you live in. So if you live in like a medium sized town like where I live at, it's kind of a mix between the two, which is a good balance and a good dynamic. But if you live in a smaller town, way more tranquil, way more peaceful. And if you live in a big city like the capital, um, it's way more hectic, right? So it might take, I walk around this whole town. Everywhere I go is on foot, whereas in the city, you can't really you can't walk around the whole city you have to take public transport or you have to drive so have those two things in mind when you're planning on moving to another country um i lived in many different countries but for the purpose of this video and my other video so far i've been in colombia so i'm comparing so i'm talking about colombia so if you're an expat and you're planning on moving and living in colombia Try to have those factors in mind if you want to live in a town or if you want to live in a city. And if you do live in a city, I mean, and if you do live in a town, how far is that town from the city? Because you need to keep in mind airports, modes of transportation, government buildings, and certain things that you need to take advantage of. You know what I'm saying? So it might be a bit dark on the camera because I'm under a tree right now. But another thing to consider is the cost of living. So the cost of living in a town is significantly cheaper than the cost of living in, in a big city. Now, I'm not saying that you can't find a low cost of living in a big city because you can can find a low a low cost of living in a big city normally those areas aren't as secure as the higher cost of living areas but you can find low cost of living areas in a big city but in a town you can get up class living or upper class living in a town for a cheaper price than you can in a big in a big city so that's another point to consider, which is the cost of living when referencing a town compared to a big city.
now let's talk about the people another point to consider is or are the people the reason being for my experience of course everything i'm saying is for my experience is that normally not all but no but normally the people in a town are a bit more calm a bit more relaxed a bit more controlled and mainly because of the environment that they live in they live in a tranquil environment so they tend to be a bit tranquil a bit more kind right whereas the people in a big city aren't as kind so i'm not saying all because the majority of the people that i do or might spend time with live in the big city and they are nice calm cool and collective right but a majority of people in the city they tend to be a bit more stressed out so um there's been situations where i've been i've been lost in the big city right in bogota and i'm asking people for help or for direction and they really just don't want to help me right um i don't know if there are other factors involved but a lot of people tend to be in a rush so because of that they tend to be a bit rude compared to people in a town when i'm lost in a town or i'm looking for someplace in a town and i ask somebody um i'm not all but a majority of them are more willing to help me out in in the situation a majority of them are more willing to you know hey what do you need you know what i'm saying okay let me go ahead and see if i can help you right so i'm not saying all the people in a town are nice but at the same time i'm not saying all the people in a, in the city the big cities are mean i'm just saying for the majority of the time the people in a town tend to be a bit more kinder a bit more relaxed because of the environment they live in compared to people in a big city that's why during holidays and vacations people in a city leave the city to a smaller town to have a more relaxed and controlled time you understand what i'm saying so now touching back on the towns and cities again in terms of people and let's say the environment as a whole the environment in a city is fun right there's much more to do in a big city there's much more going on there's more options in terms of everything in terms of living in terms of food in terms of outings in terms of just having a good time there's more to do in a city so for an expat right or a person moving from another country to to let's say colombia i would recommend that person to move to a big city right because it'll be a lot easier to get to know the area a lot easier to have a good time there's public transportation going everywhere things are open all hours of the night and it's just a more fun time in a big city compared to a town I prefer towns because I'm a more train I mean tranquil type of person and I just prefer my peace of mind and my tranquility and I can always just go to the city if necessary right so that's one factor to consider Now, let's talk about distance in in different ways. So, if you do plan on relocating to a town, be mindful of the distance in that town from the major cities. Why? Because the major cities offer you the amenities that you need in terms of the visa office, the government buildings, certain things that need to get done, get done through the city. If you have a vehicle, a lot of the parts come from the major cities and stuff like that. So be mindful of the, di the, of the distance between the towns and the cities because if you live in a city that's, let's say, an hour from... If you live in a town that's an hour from a major city, it might be a bit more difficult for you to get things done if necessary. But if you... Or have fun or just enjoy your time and do a little day trip to the city. But if you live in a town that's like 20, 30 minutes, 40 minutes out, you know, 45 minutes out from the city, then it's not too not too bad you can actually live in the town but enjoy the city lifestyle because you can always hop back and forth between the two another thing in terms of the distance is that if you're a person that don't want to go too far to do certain things a town might be for you because 
like I said, I walk everywhere in this town. Any place I need to go, I actually will, like, walk between a few towns, right? Because it's just so near and it's so much more convenient. Another thing is that in the city, more than likely if there's something that you need to get done, you can't just walk to that place, right? So you might have to take a taxi, ride your bicycle, um, take public transportation, right? In order to get to where you need to be. And, the, and that, I just spit, and that takes time. So to, to, to move around from one place to another might take you 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour. Sometimes moving around in, in the capital Bogota takes me an hour and a half. Whereas I can walk around this whole town in that time or less, you know what I'm saying? So that's another thing. Distance between the towns and the cities and distance between locations within the cities themselves, right? One last thing to touch on is if you're a person that likes to ride bicycles or something like that, the city, well, Bogota especially, is a very bike-friendly city. There's a lot of bike trails and everything that you can take without ever having to be on the roads. But, you know, people prefer to be on the roads. Whereas in some towns, depending on the town that you're in, it might be bike friendly or it might not be bike friendly. So that all depends. So. Yeah, guys, so that's all I have for this video right now. Um, and everything is from my experience. So take it with a grain of salt because not everybody has the same experience. And this is just the way I live moving around because I've been to many towns here and many different cities for periods of time, right? So if there's anything else you would like to know or anything you would like to tell other people that are watching this video that I missed out on or I got, or you want to put your take on it and you don't have to be living in Colombia. You could be living in any city, town or country in the world. Just let us know, comment down below for the community. Welcome to the community once again for all the new subscribers. And like always, go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next adventure. Peace.